Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the social media sharing plugin created by Eddie Verbreggen in your Ionic framework Android and iOS mobile application. Uh, so if you're unfamiliar with the social sharing features, uh, what that is is it's the icon that when you click it, it'll give you the option to choose which uh, media source to share your content on, whether it be Twitter or Facebook, email, text message, even the clipboard. Uh, so it's just, just a way to share information. It's not necessarily a social media plugin. It's just a way to share to social media. So with that said, let's go ahead and start by creating a brand new Ionic Framework project on your desktop. and then navigate to your project and we're going to go ahead and add the Android platform. Now I am on a Mac so I can do iOS as well however for simplicity I'm only going to be demonstrating Android. Uh, this tutorial does work for both but you have to be on a Mac in order to do iOS. So with your Android platform added the next step that we want to do is we want to install the actual Apache Cordova plugin. And this can be done by going on the GitHub page for the plugin and then entering the command that they specify uh, for adding the plugin, which is this. And I'm just going to copy and paste it into my terminal. All right, so that plugin is now added. Uh, so if we technically if we wanted to we could start using it, but that plugin was designed for raw Apache Cordova Instead what we're going to do is we're going to download the angular JS extension set called ng Cordova Which is going to be a wrapper for this project So go to the ng Cordova website and download the latest um, ng Cordova Save that right to your desktop there And then what we're going to do is we're going to find a particular file in that in that the download, I'm going to go to distribution and we're going to go ahead and copy the ngcordovamin.js and we're going to go ahead and copy it into our project folder. So go to your project folder and then www.js and let's go ahead and paste that file right in there. With that done, let's go ahead and open our project inside of our favorite text editor. Uh, in this example, I'm going to be using Adam by GitHub. All right, with your project opened, let's go ahead and start by going to your index.html file found in the www folder. We need to go ahead and add the library that we just downloaded, the ng Cordova library. It's very important you do this above Cordova.js, so I'm going to do it right here. With that added to your index file, we need to also open up our JavaScript directory and then app.js. We need to go ahead and include it in AngularJS. All right, so now it's technically added. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a bit because it makes it easier to read. So I'm gonna do var example equals uh, angular.module. Put a semicolon there. And now we're going to go ahead and create a new controller. We're going to say example.controller and we're going to call this example controller. And then we're going to give it a scope. And we're also going to give it Cordova social sharing. All right. With that done, now we're ready to start adding the functions or initializing the, the sharing features. So inside your control, let's go ahead and add the following. Scope dot share anywhere equals function. And now straight from the documentation, it's going to be Cordova dot or Cordova social sharing dot share. We're going to give it a uh, a message to share. I'm 
we're going to give it a subject, a title. Now, if you wanted to, you could pass in an image uh, for this next parameter, but I'm going to just use null. And then the, the last parameter after that is a website URL, in which case I'm going to just use the address to my blog, which also has this video article in written format as well, in case you'd like to read. All right. So let's go ahead and save that. Now going back to your index.html file, we need to add a few things in order to use that function. So go to your ion content, we're going to type in ng controller equals example controller. And then we're going to add a button. So we're going to do the following. Button class equals button. Ng click. I'm going to call it share anywhere. That's what we created just now. We say share anywhere. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, build and run. So you can do the following: Ionic build Android. The first time to build is always the longest. Every other time just takes a second. All right, with it built, let's go ahead and install it. All right, should show up on my emulator now. Yep. And there's our button. So let's see what happens when we click on it. So because this is an emulator and I don't have like say Facebook, Google Plus, and all all of uh, all of the great sharing buttons or apps, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's only going to show me the bare essentials, which is email messaging and Bluetooth. Again, if you have a real device, chances are you're going to see a long list of maybe uh, 10, 10 to 20. On my phone, I think I have about 15. Uh, and then when you go ahead and click on one, let's say uh, it might not work because it's, it's an emulator, but I'm going to go ahead and click messaging. And See, here's my, my message. This is a message to share and then the URL. It doesn't show the title because text messages don't send titles. But if I were to click the email, I know the email won't work because I don't have an email account set up. But if I were to click it, it would have put the title that we used and put it in the subject and then it would, be, would have used our message. So just like that, you can do a very generic social sharing. This plugin does offer uh, more functionality in case you wanted to specifically share it to a particular program you could do that but again since I don't have any particular programs installed that's why I chose to do uh, the generic share uh, but it's totally up to you I recommend you take a look at the documentation on the github page for this uh, it's also referenced in my written article